So you're trying to shop for RAM and there's all these terms, CL10, 1333 megahertz, 1.65 volts. All that stuff just needs to go away because we're gonna tell you how XMP makes your life a lot easier if you're using an Intel platform. Now you can buy the highest performance memory in the world, but by default, motherboards will set it to a safe setting, a safe profile that is guaranteed to boot by default. This is to ensure that you get an opportunity to go into the motherboard BIOS and reconfigure things manually if you need to, because if it just doesn't turn on at all, then it's no good to anyone. However, once you're in there, if you want to set it to run at its proper speeds, at the rated speeds, you can either dial everything in manually the way we used to, or you can just set up an XMP profile. Most high performance memory comes with at least one XMP profile, sometimes two. And as long as your motherboard supports XMP, which most of the performance grade Intel motherboards do, then it's as simple as dialing it in and all those settings are done for you. Within the UEFI of your motherboard or the BIOS, it's usually very simple to find the XMP settings, but if you're not sure, you can always consult your manual. So it might be called Extreme Memory Profile or XMP or Memory Profile, and then you'll be able to scroll through something that'll say Auto or, or and then like Profile 1 and Profile 2, and it'll actually give you a preview of what it's gonna run at before you press F10 to commit the changes and reboot the computer. But the one thing to note about XMP is that if you fully populate all of the module slots on your motherboard, your XMP profiles might not be fine-tuned for that unless you buy a multi-DIMM kit. So on this motherboard, for example, if we bought two two-sticked kits and ran it in XMP, it might not work. Whereas if we bought one four-stick kit, it would be guaranteed to work. As always guys, don't forget to subscribe to Tech Quickie, don't forget to like the video, and share it with anyone who you think might benefit from this information. If you have any ideas for future Fast As Possible episodes, leave them in the suggestion forum, which is linked in the description of the video.